Mr. Foster? That's the seat I start with, so you go first. And uh, are you representing the um, zero hour organization? Is that what it is? Okay, so you'll have five minutes to testify. Whenever you're ready, you press the button and we'll hear from you. Good morning, council members. Thank you for inviting Good me. Good afternoon. I know, time has gone by so fast. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me to be here and state my opinions on why the Clean Energy DC Act should be passed. My name is Jerome Foster II. I'm 16 years old, and I'm a founder and senior editor of The Climate Reporter, a National Geographic explorer who explored Iceland, and I'm a Ward 7 resident and a junior attending Washington Leadership Academy. I am here speaking on behalf of Citizens Climate Lobby, Zero Hour, The Climate Reporter, and my generation. And most importantly, our beautiful planet. From the perspective of the youth of, of Washington, D.C., the Clean Energy D.C. Act is a significant st stepping stone towards an era of fully renewable energy technology in our cities. This bill is a reminder that climate change is not a political issue, neither a partisan issue. It is an issue that threatens the very existence of mankind on Earth. Over the past summer, I've traveled to Miami, Florida Keys, and Iceland with National Geographic, and I saw firsthand the devastating effects of climate change and it's having on everyone and everything. From melting glaciers to rising tides to extreme hurricanes and uncontrollable raging fires, so many people, people's lives have been destroyed because of the climate crisis. My generation is tired of protesting and marching, even though we will continue to do so. But very soon, we will have the ability to vote, and we have the knowledge and understanding of this problem. We have the morality and love for our planet to lead change now, and the time is now to act. We have the courage and commitment to fiercely protect the right and need for clean air. In the future, with our vote and positions of authority, we will have the integrity to stand in the face of greed and power and make the right decisions for the future of our planet. It is a fight against greed and selfishness, period. This youth climate revolution to solve the climate crisis is not fueled by the silence of inaction, but by the sounds of impassioned assertiveness. This bill, this bill shows that all of you understand the urgency, all of you understand that our lives matter and that our voices matter and that clean air, clean water, and clean energy matters. I am just a young man speaking for myself and many young people who demand that we have the opportunity to breathe clean air just as you have had. The newest of generations will be breathing the same air that we have in the year 2100. Will you stand up for them now? For me, it is, it is simple to understand the problem. It is like when I'm being yelled at for holding the refrigerator door open and allowing everything inside to melt and spoil. Understand, I'm yelled at, <laughs> yelled at for this. So why are we not yelling at the fossil fuel industry to close the refrigerator door? I'm affecting everyone in my house with my actions in a negative way. And the fossil fuel industry is affecting everyone on this planet in a deadly way. That's why it's, that's why, that's, so, what's so bad about this is that it's, it is simply due to the selfishness and greed we have the technology currently to pull completely away from fossil fuels and convert our national utilities to sustainable energy sources. We take, we make the daily decision to not to, we make the daily decision not to, and that is very irresponsible, but this bill has the potential to change that. Our voices will soon be heard. Our votes will soon be tallied. We will remember the choices you have made for this bill and how you have voted. Your yes vote will positively impact the citizens of Washington, D.C. for generations to come. When I look at the courageous and committed people I stand amongst, and then look at the people that are, that, that are making the decisions to improve our air, it gives me great optimism. It, ge it, gives me a great, it gives me a very optimistic outlook on the future of Washington, D.C. The thing that is so great about me being able to stand here today and be able to talk about this world, the world-changing actions of a great city, which is Washington, D.C., is in that... Councilmember Mary Check and Mayor Bowser are at the front of this climate change revolution. And they're standing at the gate and demanding that all who enter bring clean air in with them. No other city in the nation is acting more aggressively to solve the climate crisis than Washington, D.C. By enacting the Clean Energy D.C. Act, it will further our, our pace. That is what I came here to say. Citizens Climate Lobby, Zero Hour, the Climate Reporter, and the youth of the world stand with Washington, D.C., and Mayor Bowser and Councilman Mary Check, and strongly request that you pass the Clean Energy DC Act of 2018. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Carrasco. Uh, 